everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the new Mako series R1 from Walrus Audio. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I use in this video, and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. So this is the second pedal in Warris Audio's new Mako series. We have the D1 that I did a demo of, which was their multi-delay, and now we're looking at the multi-reverb. So we'll look at some of the basic controls first, and then we'll look at the different algorithms. So we have the tweak control and then the toggle switch for the tweak control which can go from rate to depth which is for the modulation which is really cool you can apply modulation to any reverb and then we have a pre-delay as well and then on the right we have a tune knob which has also got a toggle switch that goes from low which controls the low ends of the reverb to high that controls the high end and to the x which is a different parameter depending on what reverb mode we're on we can either have tree bypass dsp plus tree bypass and dsp bypass you also use these to cycle through the onboard banks. In the middle of the pedal, you see there's a toggle switch for A, B, and C, and you can have three presets per bank or up to 128 via MIDI. There's also the sustain slash latch foot switch. So this allows you to sustain slash freeze the reverb. If you just tap it, it will sustain indefinitely until you tap again, or you can hold down that switch to sustain and it will release when you let go. Then, of course, we have a mix for the reverb to the dry signal, a decay control, and a swell control, which is really cool as well, which allows you to have any reverb mode just swell in for your pick attack, which is a really nice feature. Of course, we have stereo ins and outs and MIDI on the top of the pedal. So in the middle with the colors around it, we have the big program switch. So this goes from spring, which emulates a spring reverb commonly found on tube amps, loaded with loads of bouncy drip, and the X control adds a gentle warm overdrive to the reverb input, simulating overdrive in the spring tank. We have hall, which provides acoustics of a large live sound space, like concert halls and arenas. X controls the size of the room. We have a plate that emulates a smooth analog plate reverb with nice even diffusion inspired by famous plates like the EMT 140. The X control adds gentle warm grit to the front end of the program simulating a hot signal into the plate. We have BFR that stands for big f***ing reverb. This is more than a giant arena reverb. It's a Hall-esque reverb with rich and lush decays in a vast cavern filled with choirs of angels. That's the quite the manual. X controls the amount of diffusion applied to the delay network. Lower values the delay types are more apparent and higher it's more smooth. We have the refract algorithm that allows for charming and glitch-like textures hovering over a largely diffused reverb. The rate control on this actually determines how often the glitch effect occurs, and depth is an overall volume of the glitch effect. X changes the feel of the glitching from dark and lo-fi to bright and present at higher settings. The air program is a larger diffused reverb with subtle shimmer, but has a more crisp clarity to its decay. X controls the amount of wind and shimmer element in the air program. One other thing, when you're running in stereo, you can actually affect the stereo width. Set the tune knob toggle switch to the X position, hold down the bypass switch, and when the LED starts blinking, you can turn the X control to change the width of the stereo image, from narrow and minimum settings to stereo at noon and enhanced stereo above noon. So we are going to check out the pedal in stereo, so I'm using two amps, I'm using my Hampstead RT60 Plus RT and my Cornell Romney Pry 40 watt. The guitar I'm using is this 9059 Reissue ES335 with Monty's light up at PF and looking pickups. Both of the speakers are being recorded by Lewitt MTP440 dynamic microphones and go straight into my interface. So the guitar straight into the amp sounds like this. <laughs>
So there we have it, that was a look at the brand new Makeye Series R1 Reverb from Walrus Audio, the second pedal in their Makeye Series lineup, and it's a really killer reverb. I was really impressed by the D1 delay, and this is just as strong as that, if not a bit stronger in my opinion, because there's a little bit more flexibility that you can get from the reverbs. Of course, you have the rate and depth control for every reverb, which is really killer, as well as the pre-delay. We have the low and high controls for EQ for each reverb, as well as the X parameter that changes per reverb mode. We have the ABC banks in the middle, as well as three presets per bank expandable up to 128 via MIDI, stereo ins and outs, that cool swell control if you want to get some swelled reverb times which is a really killer feature, the sustain slash latch foot switch and of course we have the spring, the hall, the plate, the big f***ing reverb, the refract and the air program making this a really killer reverb pedal that kind of does it all with so much tweakability. My favourite things about here that you can have the modulation on any effect as well as that little swell control and even EQ for the lows and highs for each part. This is a really killer reverb pedal and I think if you have this you wouldn't ever need another reverb each algorithm in it is as strong as the other and i can't recommend it enough but let me know down in the comments what you thought of the r1 make our series by warris audio and if you go and pick one up for yourself again there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear i used in this video and to record my videos these do help support the channel out there so i'd really appreciate you go and check them out if you did like this demo video please leave a like comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well it really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out in my future uploads other than that go onto my channel check out some of my playlist, have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.